Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Mobicool Delivery Boy app and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the admin will be able to configure this particular uh, app from the admin margin panel and how the uh, customers would be able to initially place the order and then we'll be showing you how the admin can log into his account through the mobile app itself and can check the orders that have been uh, ordered for his product and how the admin can assign a particular product to a uh, delivery guy and then we'll be showing you how the delivery guys would be receiving the orders and how they can uh, completely uh, deliver the product to the customers so uh, what i'll be doing is i'll be taking you to the admin backend panel, panel first and thereafter uh, i'll be showing you the customer workflow and lastly I'll be showing you how the delivery boys would be able to access the mobile application on the uh, mobile end uh, there so uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this particular uh, module can be first initially configured from the admin backend panel so here I am at the uh, WooCommerce web store backend panel right now so what I'll be doing is I'll be logging into the admin account panel first and thereafter I'll be showing you the different configuration settings uh, that need to be done initially by the admin of the web store and thereafter i'll be showing you the different options that the admin would get under his uh, mobile application then can that can be accessed from the admin backend as well so for that let me take you ahead and let me uh, log into the admin backend panel first as uh, i had some issues with my uh, laptop uh, early morning today so what i'll be doing is i'll be showing you this backend panel uh, through my mobile application itself so uh, kindly bear with me so now let me tap the login button to log into the admin backend panel now after i'm logged in uh, on the left hand side uh, you can see that uh, we have a different uh, uh, different options are there now we need to go to the woocommerce delivery boy that is just below the analytics as you can see so let me tap that up and the WooCommerce Delivery Boy has different options and a configuration submenu option as well. So these are options that are the dashboard boys, boys of the delivery boys, ratings, orders are visible uh, to the admin within the mobile application itself. And to configure this particular module in the first place, the admin needs to navigate to the configuration section. And for that, the admin can tap the configuration submenu option under the WooCommerce Delivery Boy menu. So let me tap the configuration uh, section. Now here we have two different uh, uh, tabs that need to be configured. One is the general one, the other one is the advanced one. So these are the advanced one options that need to be configured. Let's go to the general one. Now basically here the admin needs to enter the longitude and latitudes for his uh, exact uh, uh, physical store address. So here the admin would enter his longitude and latitude and then add his address in the last text uh, section that you can see and after that the admin needs to uh, update the setting uh, for now we are already added uh, otherwise you would have seen the save button here so these are the uh, three basic settings longitude latitude address that to be done under the general settings now let's go to the advanced one now under the advanced one the uh, admin needs to enter the username and password for his uh, mobile application and for that the admin would enter the username and password after that we'll be entering the fcm notification api key so basically this uh, key is used for the notification purposes and you can uh, get them by registering yourself at the fcm itself and uh, thereafter you will get the api key that api needs to be entered within this uh, particular section here now after that we have the uh, google map api key you have to register yourself for the google api key and you'll get that one free so uh, after that what you need to do is you need to put that api key here under the google map api key section uh, that's this one and uh, what this does is that uh, it uh, basically uh, displays the location of the uh, delivery guide to the admin and uh, for the use of the maps this particular key is required thereafter the admin needs to enter the delivery range in kilometers so whichever number you will be entering here that would be the delivery range in kilometers within which uh, you will be delivering the uh, products so uh, and the start point would be your address that you have given and from that start point you can set up the delivery range in kilometers so if you set this as 10 then it means that 
from your store address up till 10 kilometers uh, you have the particular delivery range for uh, delivering the products and lastly we have uh, allowed shipping methods and here what you need to do is you need to select the uh, methods that would be available to the uh, customers basically when they are placing the orders uh, through your web store so according to the selected uh, shipping methods the methods get visible to the customers for shift selection and after setting all these uh, uh, basic uh, configuration settings under the, under the general and the advanced tab you just need to tap on the save changes button and uh, we are done configuring the uh, WooCommerce Delivery Boy mobile app and thereafter what you need to do is uh, you need to for example this is the admin so the admin would be getting different options so let me show you the options that the admin can access from the back end as well and the same options would be visible at the uh, mobile end for the admin login and uh, a similar kind for the delivery guys as well when they'll be uh, logging to their personal account so the very first one is the dashboard let's go to the dashboard now here the admin can see the order graph then we have the sales graph then we have the today's orders how many orders have been placed uh, and how many have been assigned uh, the delivery location tapping the tab brings up the location of the uh, delivery guy on the map itself so basically uh, for example if we go to the order graph uh, you the admin can view the uh, delivery boy orders uh, according to the orders that they have placed uh, that they have succeeded with in a weekly monthly and yearly manner and similarly for the sales graph as well the admin can check the weekly monthly and the yearly card for the delivery boys so the dashboard basically gives an overview of each of the uh, sales and the orders or for the uh, today's orders all the graph or the bar charts for that now under the boys we have the delivery boys let's go to the delivery boys section now under this all of the create delivery boys would be visible to the uh, web store owner and from here as well the web store owner can create a new delivery boy Otherwise, the same can also be done with the mobile application wherein the admin would be able to view the delivery boys and would be able to add the delivery boys as well through the mobile application and that too on the go. So to add a new delivery boy, the admin just needs to tap on the add new button here and that would bring up the section wherein the admin needs to enter a few information for the, uh, for the delivery boy to be created. Here the admin can set up the username, email, First name, last name, mobile number, his password, longitude, latitude, the address of the delivery boy, the vehicle type that the delivery boy would be using, for example, a cycle, ship, bus, motorcycle or something else, uh, the vehicle number of that particular delivery boy and the status would be set as enabled or disabled for the use within the store or within the mobile application. So enabling it would enable that uh, particular uh, delivery boy and that would be again visible under the delivery boys section so let's let's go back to the boys section here so here uh, these are the basic settings that need to be configured for a new delivery boy and uh, on the delivery boy uh, the admin would see the newly created uh, delivery boy as well and from here the admin can basically uh, delete the delivery boys in bulk as well and can search them as well now under the ratings what happens is that uh, whenever this, the customers provide the ratings for the delivery guys all, all those ratings are basically populated here under within this manage rating section and then we have the orders i'm sorry for that i just tapped the uh, configuration menu option there so under the orders the admin would be able to see all of the orders that have been placed within his uh, web store the admin can check each of the orders by tapping on that and the admin can also assign a delivery boy to a particular order by navigating or by scrolling down a bit all right so here the admin can see a delivery boy drop down kind of thing and to assign a particular assign this particular order with a delivery boy the admin can tap here and can see which uh, delivery boys are available right now and the admin can choose the delivery boy and can then tap on the update button above i've just dragged that particular box uh, a bit uh, lower here so you can see the delivery delivery boy pan minute has been uh, selected by the admin and now uh, the admin can basically update uh, this particular order and then the 
delivery boy would be assigned to the chosen delivery boy now let me scroll down so you can see that the delivery boy parent it has been assigned to this particular order will be delivering this particular order to the customer now as we can see here for this order the name delivery underscore otp you uh, you can also see the value for uh, the otp so whenever a customer uh, basically uh, posts uh, or uh, uh, basically makes an order at that time uh, there are no information of the uh, delivery guy but as soon as uh, the uh, order is assigned to a delivery guy the customer can see the delivery otp that needs to be uh, given to the uh, delivery guy before the delivery is made so without this particular otp the delivery or the status of the particular order will not be updated so basically these are the uh, different options that were there within the woocommerce delivery boy app uh, from the back end panel dashboard boys ratings orders and configuration and now let me show you how uh, what we'll do is we'll just place one order and thereafter we'll see how the admin can manage that within the mobile application itself and how the uh, delivery points can deliver that particular uh, order uh, or order uh, to the customers so with that what i'll do is i'll be reordering a product so i'll just uh, open this particular product and uh, i'll be placing an order for that uh, I'll be placing an order for this particular product okay, just give just give me a minute for that let me place an order first so I'll just go to the web store front end first but I'm using the this and now let me add this particular 100 micron edge inductor to the cart let me tap on the web cart button and let me make a check out here after so tap the proceed to check out button now uh, I'll be placing an order for this particular product that I have added to my cart so this is just taking a bit of time here because of uh, low internet right now maybe so I'm at the storefront now on the checkout page so we've already enter the details required now i'll be placing the order so I've placed an order now on this uh, woocommerce web store and i'll be getting one uh, order id after the order has been successfully placed so right now i've placed this order as a customer from the front end now the order has been received and the order number is 3576 all right so uh, in today's uh, video tutorial, uh, that was much about the admin configuration and uh, I've showed you how to place the order by the customer and we'll be checking the same order number within the mobile app uh, after the admin logs into his mobile app and the same order would uh, then be assigned to a particular delivery guy and we'll see the rest of the what we say as the workflow uh, in the next uh, video tutorial. So thanks for uh, being here and watching this particular video. So that was much about the WooCommerce Mobile Delivery Boy app backend configuration and the customer workflow, how the customer can place an order. And in the next video, we'll be showing you the admin and the delivery guy uh, workflow using their mobile app uh, itself. So uh, I hope this video helped you out. And if you have any questions or queries regarding this uh, extension, then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.